Hello YouTube, this is Frugal, and as promised, or threatened, depending on how you look at it, this is Elite Dangerous, which I said will be coming back to the channel. Now, Elite Dangerous is not a sim. It has sim-like aspects, but really it's just a really cool game. A very deep game, the sim-like aspects being that we have a one-to-one -one creation of our galaxy right here in the game, and there are various other aspects to it which are sim-like, and it has enough depth, I think, that it should be on this channel. I mean, you compare it to something like a Captain Sim plane, it's got more depth than that, for sure. But anyway, I thought if I'm going to bring this back to the channel, what can I do to frugalize it? What can I do to really make it stand out? And I figured, well, the best thing to do would be to call up one of my friends to join me. And who better than Norman Lovett? Some of you might know Norman Lovett as Holly from Red Dwarf. And so here he is. Greetings, Leo. Greetings there would be Norman Lovett. Now, it's actually not actually Norman Lovett. Well, it is, but it's not. It's something called the HCS Voice Packs for Voice Attack. And I've seen Voice Attack on a few other people's live streams and demos and things like that. And I always thought it was kind of a neat thing. But the HCS Voice Packs add a whole new dimension to Voice Attack. They are professionally voiced by actors, such as Norman here. Also got a voice pack from Kate Russell, the uh, Elite Dangerous novelist who wrote Mostly Harmless. Also got one from Tom Baker, who is one of the former Doctor Whos. How cool is that? But we got Leo on board right now. Leo's pretty cool. Um, I guess we should get going. I'm, I'm heading out towards a system that's got some trouble going on. So we're going to be making our way out there. Over the next few videos, you'll see some adventures, I hope. Hopefully it's not too boring, but realistically, it... Um, uh, I was going to say it can't be more boring than staying at cruise at a 777 for a few hours, you know, but that's not really boring either. It's, uh, it's an acquired taste, I think, much like a flight sim, which again makes it suitable, I think, for this channel. Somebody died. Target destroyed. Okay, Leo, I'm ready to go. Can Dave come? <laughs> Is Dave friendly? Dave bites. I guess they better not come then. Okay, so Dave is Leo's imaginary pet dog. But anyway, let's go ahead and launch. And I'm going to let Leo take us out somewhat. Leo can control every aspect of the ship, except just flying it in general. But even then, he can do some of the flying, as you'll see. Watch this. Oh, it's debris. Engines engaged. That's going to be awkward. Departure handover. Ascending. Retracting it's modules. Retracting. Handing you the con. I think I just heard Dave. Sorry, dude, but Dave was talking to me, and he'd prefer it if you didn't think for a while. Can you prove Dave exists? Just because you can't see him doesn't mean he isn't around. Dave thinks you're a knob. Ha! <laughs> That's nice! <laughs> so there you go. Norman Lovett just called me a knob. Anyway, on that little ascent there, what he did was he took us up to 30 meters, retracted the landing gear, and pretty much did everything for us. Let's line up over here and start our jump. Get clear and jump. Afterburners, maxing engines. Distance thing, stand by. The now FTL are... is charged and ready. There stand we go. by. He's doing all of this himself, by the way. I'm not doing a damn thing. Engaging jump. How cool is that? There are a number of voice packs you can get. Like I said, I've got Doris, which is voiced by Kate Russell. I've got Midnight, voiced by Tom Baker. Leo here, voiced by Norman Lovett. Also got the default one, Astra, which is pretty cool. Astra has a Galaxopedia built in. The, um, Leo here doesn't really like Astra, um, as I'll show you in a second. Let's just do this jump, because it's pretty hard to hear what's going on. Now, obviously, when you jump, you come out pretty close to the suns, and that can be a bit of a shock. Leo can help with that. Just recenter my track IR here. All stop. Cutting engines. Stop here. Pretty neat, right? I might bring Astra with us. I've got to slide off. Dave needs his walk. <laughs> he really doesn't like Astra at all. Target. Locking on to target. So you can see voice attack kicking in with Leo there, and we're targeting the thing in front of us, which is kind of cool. Let's run a scan as well while we're here. No new astronomical systems detected. Let's just climb on up. Log next target destination. So he's locked up the next planet that we're supposed to fly to on our route, so we'll go and line up there. And Go to hyperspace. Jumping to light speed. 
How cool is that? Now, I set up the guy who made these, a guy called Paul Watson, I think his name is. Very nice guy. I emailed him to, to check that I can put these videos up, and he said, yes, go ahead, so here we are. He has a number of videos introducing voice attack and how to do really advanced stuff in it, but also how to work with these voice packs and how to make them play nicely together. So one of the videos he put up is something called a selector video. It shows how to build a voice attack profile that let you switch profiles. So I have a wonderful set of commands that let me jump between any of the profiles I want at any time or stop. I had to do it myself because I didn't pause enough. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Doris to the bridge. I'm here. Hello, Doris. You again. Wonderful. And Doris is not the friendliest AI in the world, but she is pretty funny. Watch, here we go. Go to hyperspace. Go to hyperspace. Engaging shock drive. Charging. Oh, she's being pretty nice today, which is nice. Can you hear me, Doris? Can you hear me, Doris? The universe awaits your wisdom. Be nice now, Doris. Nice? What a pointless human countenance. I would rather be efficient. Well, there you go. The ever-friendly, ever-lovely Doris. Doris has a Galaxopedia built in, and you can ask Doris pretty much anything about anything, which is beyond cool. So, for example, if we wanted to find out about Constellation Orion. Constellation Lynx. Lynx is a constellation in the northern sky, introduced in the 17th century by Johannes Hevelius. It is named after the Lynx, a genus of cat. It is very Friendship faint. Drive, its brighter stars form a zigzag line. So there you go. So she'll tell you all about stuff in the galaxy, stuff in the universe that we know about, stuff you don't know about. It's pretty cool. Cheers. Internal sensors suggest you may be intoxicated. I recommend using the auto brush. So that's Doris. Let, let's bring out Midnight. Now, Midnight is very interesting because... Taking heat damage. Yeah, whatever. Midnight has a full backstory. In fact, all of these AIs have a full backstory, but Midnight's one is particularly impressive. So, all stop. All stop. Ah, Doris, you kill me, literally. Let's run a scan up here. All right. So let's bring up Midnight then. Midnight to the bridge. I'm here. Hello, Midnight. Hello, friend. Who are you? I am known as Midnight. Okay. Are you an AI? I am much more than AI. Much more. You can see he's very, very cryptic and mysterious. Tell me what you are. Humans, mankind, and I, Midnight. We all inherit the longing and need for knowledge from our forefathers crudely gorging on it within the smallest slither of time given to each of us. We live not long. Unifying what is learned from many lifetimes brings forth discovery, technical wonders, science. Eventually, the singularity of which I am now. I want to know more. There's being inquisitive and there's being a nuisance. <laughs> no more questions. No more questions. Let's go over here to the orbital station. We'll head on out that way. It's a bit of a distance out, not, not massively. Are humans elsewhere? I can tell you, humans do exist throughout the universe. There's other life I'd also describe as intelligent, advanced, very different from your kind, very dangerous too. I'm worried about what's out there. Facing danger is part of your journey. I'm with you. Together, we'll have an equal share of fear. Do you remember being a human? I do remember my mortal life, though it's faint. It's like waking from a dream only to have the memory of it slip away fast. What was your human name? Professor Thomas Black. Disengage Super Cruise. Disengaging Jump. 
Now obviously all of these AIs, as I said, can control every aspect of the ship. So for example, next fire group. Next fire group. Next fire group. Next fire group. Deploy weapons. Deploying armaments. Retract weapons. Retracting weapons. Power to the engines. Diverting power to requested system. Power to the shields. Power to shields. Power to weapons. Diverting power to requested system. Boost. Afterburners maxing engines. Which is altogether just beyond call. Like FS to crew, it adds a whole new dimension to flying this, and it is just so amazing. Let me show you one of the other AIs as we bring this into land and end the video. Astra to the bridge. I'm here. Hello, Astra. Greetings. All right, let's get some docking permission going. Now, the cool thing with voice attack is it is pretty good at recognizing when you're just talking, as I am now, and when you're issuing a command. Docking request granted. Lights on. Lights on. Power to the shields. Power to shields. All right, so we're looking for pad 34. Scan detected. Set track IR a bit there. Main drive's 30%. 30%. 40%. 40%. 40%. Landing gear down. The landing gear is down and locked. Landing gear deployed. So, I think you can see pretty darn useful. Docking speed. Thrusters 10%. The price is very good. Each of these voice packs is about $5. Or £6. No, it's £5.99. Which I think is altogether amazing. And voice attack itself is only about 8 or £9 as well. So it's really, really very good. Let's bring Doris back real quick before we say goodbye. Doris to the bridge. I'm here. Hello, Doris. You again. Wonderful. Galaxy map. That's an excellent use of my immense processing power. <laughs> well done. As always, my name is Frugal. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon.